one of the Tim and Chuck Show, presented by Bat and Stevens Body Shop. We are here on location at Frickers of Defiance. Chuck, the 2016 high school football season is here, and look who's joining us today, Boy, uh, the River Rock. Our friend The Rock, you know, it's one of the greatest additions to a already heated rivalry. I, I think it's great. This has been in place since 2009. Uh, the Crescent News presents this every year to the winner, and I tell you what, when the kids see it, they get excited. They do, and you know, and there's so much to play for, bragging rights and everything else, but when you add something like The Rock, it just, you're right, kids talk about it all year long. I mean, they're in the weight room talking about, we're going to get The Rock back, or we're keeping The Rock. I mean, it just adds to just the intensity of the whole rivalry. Well, it's going to be a great year for high school football, and we're going to be here for all of it. Uh, as a matter of fact, we're going to be bringing a couple of special guests in here in just a yep. moment. Talk some football. That's right. All right, we are now joined by Bruce Hefflinger, sports editor of the Crescent News, who covers Napoleon football for us, and also sports writer Aaron Gross, who covers the Fine High School football. They're here to preview our game of the week, which is, of course, the river rivalry between Defiance and Napoleon. This year played at the Buck. A lot of things new to this rivalry, Bruce. Uh, we got a new coach, Defiance, and Kevin Klein. We got both schools having turf. This year, that's pretty exciting. Obviously, uh, you had a story in today's paper about Kevin and Tori Strock and the point coach knowing each other. And I mean, just to throw in some fun, both schools are going to be starting new quarterbacks. Talk about the rivalry. Yeah, actually, uh, it started one uh, 100 years ago. Uh, 1916 was the first game uh, that ended in a tie, and uh, that's not going to happen this year, though. We do know that. <laughs> uh, new quarterbacks. Uh, uh, the point is going to be playing two of them, at least at the start. Uh, Grant Strzok and Hunter Rex, a uh, junior and a senior. And then Pines be going with a sophomore. Um, yeah, uh, Newton, and uh, you know, that's going to be, uh, Gavin Newton, that's going to be interesting to see how they react in their first uh, first experience, especially in such a pressure-packed situation there uh, when they play the, the biggest rival of the year. Now, Aaron, obviously you've been around Kevin before, you know the program. What's going on at Defiance? Tell me a little bit about uh, a new coach and uh, the Jerry Beatty era being, being over. Uh, it's, it's weird to think about that after 26 seasons that it's Jerry Beatty's not the head coach at Defiance High School anymore. But I think there's really kind of been a new energy. Client, uh, Kevin Coach Klein's really kind of you know, brought a lot of enthusiasm to the program. They're still going to be running a lot of the same things, but still a four wide spread like they've been running the last few years. Uh, new defense, so that's kind of what the, the focus has been is getting the guys you know, lined up where they're supposed to be and getting that, getting the rhythm going with because that, that seems to have been the problem so far in the preseason. The defense is playing pretty well and the offense is just looking for that jump start, looking for that consistency. So that's, that's been the big key he's talked about. I think just about every time I've met with them, is they're still working on that offensive consistency. Uh, what are some of the other games you guys are covering this week? Uh, Friday night, uh, I'm going to be at the Tenora Liberty Center games. Um, that should be a good one. The two teams picked by many to win their league. Um, and then we, we're also covering uh, Eden and Ayersville. Uh, Hicksville at Archibald, uh, Paulding Wing Trace, and one other one there. Uh, Wasson on, yes. Yeah, so, a lot of traditional first week games. Yeah, yeah, a lot of them should be, uh, you know, all of them should be good games, and it's exciting to get going there for the, uh, the 2016 season. Well, the, the football tab comes out to the, in today's paper, and then uh, beginning the week after this, you guys are starting a new uh, um, addition to the paper. It's called the Blitz. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Yeah, it's a new product. Uh, it'll be every every week come out in Thursday's paper. It's going to have previews of five area games, uh, Defiance and Napoleon, and then the, the top GMC games, top uh, NWOL game or so, and then little capsules and all the other games in the area with a lot of photos, uh, a page of looking back at the week before, and a lot of photos about the coming uh, week, as well as uh, the crystal ball will move into to that edition for, for our picks. So. Uh, it adds up to uh, a lot of work, a lot of fun, a lot of excitement. Well, we're looking forward to all the games this week, and I'm sure you guys are too. It's that time of year. Thanks for joining us. All right, thanks, thanks for having us.
Chuck, so we got the experts in here to break down this this week's game of the week. Talked about oh, the extra games. They, they mentioned Ayersville Eaton. You're going to be there for that. <laughs> That's right. It's just a great time of year. Oh, it is. I mean, you know, it's been a long time. and You wait all winter and all spring. And if you can't get geeked up for some of these games in week one, check a pulse, man, because it's time. I mean, everybody's ready. Communities are buzzing. You know, people are out painting the field and you get ready. And the, all the, well, like Parcel said, you know, this is why you lift all them weights. And, you know, week one, that's what it's about. Well, the thing that's great about this, Chuck, is next week we get to introduce the Jacobs Meets Player of the Week yep. and the Rose Insurance Collision of the Week. Our videographer, Ethan Matson will be out doing uh, at least two games this week, so we'll have a lot to choose from. Yep. That'll be fun. That, that's what makes this show a lot of fun. The kids like to see those videos and those highlights. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, uh, hey, it's time. Put it out there, and you'll see it on this show. You know, it's uh, why you practice and put in those hours, the payoff. Well, as always, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We're out there. We're putting stuff out there. Uh, we understand that uh, Crescent News is getting heavy into Instagram and Snapchat, so be sure to check that out. That's right. And Chuck, before we get out of here this week, let's thank our sponsors, Matt and Steve's Body Shop. Yep, thank you. Triggers for having us. It's always great. Yep. Next week, we said we got some more in the fold. And before we get out of here, Chuck, any words of wisdom? Words of wisdom. I think back. I'm going to date myself. 30 years ago, I played my first Napoleon Defiance game. Lost a lot of snaps because I was dehydrated and cramping up. So what you need to do is hydrate today for a better tomorrow. See you next week.